This presentation covers an explanation of Assessment Section 1. Before viewing this presentation, make sure you have seen a guide to the UPD Module Assessment Overview, as it is vital you've seen this before carrying on. In the overview presentation mentioned in the previous slide, the four sections of the assessment were shown. Each section is to be worked through in turn as one builds upon the other and informs the next. In this presentation we will focus on section 1. The first assessment task is to provide a description of your personal and professional development by providing relevant examples of such activities derived from the workplace. The past criteria for this task are that you have shown an understanding of professional development and have provided examples of work that illustrate this understanding. The rest of this presentation gives you some advice about how to go about this first task. The first piece of advice is, if you haven't done so already, to view a separate presentation on the general characteristics of PDP called Understanding PDP. If necessary, leave this presentation now and return to it once you have seen the one on PDP, as the next sections of this presentation will then make more sense. In the presentation on PDP, the basic elements of a generic approach were listed as Review and identify learning needs to be effective at work. Analyse goals for learning against realistic actions likely to improve the quality of your work and or contribute to the development of new knowledge and skills. Develop continuing professional development objectives to achieve goals. Document progress. Identify and overcome blocks to progress. Review and evaluate achievements to take your learning to the next level. Some of these elements are applicable in other sections of the assessment, so we'll start off with what you need to know for this section only. I find it's always good to start any activity with a list. Produce a list of what you consider are or have been professional development activities in your career. These can be activities, projects or tasks that you're currently undertaking or have undertaken in the last three years, where you have led on an activity or had a significant input to that activity. Activities which you consider have been learning opportunities. Activities or tasks which have delivered products such as reports, strategy, planning documents and the like, or outputs such as artifacts which can serve as evidence. You can base this list on your recent CV, job application or company appraisal review. Please keep in mind that any documentation or projects which are confidential to your employers should not be submitted without their permission. And even in these cases, please redact any sensitive information. This part of the assessment will eventually be submitted for review and assessing through the ePortfolio. But while you are producing the early drafts, draw up the list in Word or a similar word processing program. Number the activities and under each activity provide an activity title, a brief but meaningful one sentence title, a brief description of what the activity has involved, stating if the activity is ongoing or roughly when it took place if completed and mention what the outputs were and your part in the activity. What did you learn from the activity? That is, if you were to do it again, knowing then what you know now, what would you do differently? And finally, how did this activity and the learning from it affect future projects and work activities? Enter only a brief description under each of the headings. Depending on the scale of the activities being listed, include between 5 and 10 examples. Remember to describe the activities in a way that a non-expert in your field would understand what the activity involves. 
if you produce a word template with the headings given in the previous slide it may look something like this after you have produced the list and feel ready to send it for comment there are a number of ways of doing this which are covered in the next few slides as two of the ways I'm going to discuss involve the ePortfolio first make sure you have viewed the presentation getting to know the ePortfolio for UPD and have a login to your ePortfolio to hand you can send your work to me for feedback or comment in one of three ways the first way is to send it by copying the text from Word from a Word document and pasting it into the description field of your ePortfolio in order to do this you need to first log into your ePortfolio and the web address is given in the presentation here then click create new and from the menu that appears select achievement in the page that appears type in assessment section 1 in the title field then copy the completed text in your word document and paste it into the description field then click 4 on the bottom bar and then select send to then person then include the email address of the module leader you wish to send your work to the second way is to attach the word document as a file to the evidence page to do this log in in the normal manner as described in the previous slide in the title field of the first page write assessment section 1 then click 2 on the bottom bar to show the evidence page on the evidence page click the chain icon to attach the word document as a file then click 4 on the bottom bar and select send to then person then the email address of the module tutor you can send the word document as an attachment by email to the tutor this of course is the easiest option but gives you no practice using the ePortfolio by whichever means you send your work you will receive feedback but please be patient if you don't hear back immediately but you will do so in a reasonable time